Shingon Buddhism is one of the major schools of Buddhism in Japan and one of the few surviving Vajrayana lineages in East Asia, originally spread from India to China through traveling monks such as Varabodhi and Amogavajra. Known in Chinese as the Tangmi, these esoteric teachings would later flourish in Japan under the auspices of a Buddhist monk named Kakai, Kong Hai who traveled to Tang China to acquire and request transmission of the esoteric teachings. For that reason, it is often called Japanese Esoteric Buddhism, or Orthodox Esoteric Buddhism. The word, Shingon, is the Japanese reading of Chinese, Zhen Yan Zhen Yan, true words, which in turn is the Chinese translation of the Sanskrit word, mantra. History Shingon Buddhist doctrine and teachings arose during the Heian period after a Buddhist monk named Kakai traveled to China in 804 to study esoteric Buddhist practices in the city of Xi'an, Xi'an then called Chang'an, at Azure Dragon Temple Qing Long si under Huiguo, a favorite student of the legendary Amogavajra. Kakai returned to Japan as Huiguo's lineage and Dharma successor. Shingon followers usually refer to Kakai as Kobo Daishi, Hong Fa Da Shi Great Master of the Propagation of Dharma or Odaishi Sama, O Da Shi Yang the Great Master, the posthumous name given to him years after his death by Emperor Daigo. Before he went to China, Kakai had been an independent monk in Japan for over a decade. He was extremely well versed in Chinese literature, calligraphy and Buddhist texts. Esoteric Buddhism was not considered to be a different sect or school yet at that time. Huiguo was the first person to gather the still scattered elements of Indian and Chinese esoteric Buddhism into a cohesive system. A Japanese monk named Gonso Chin Sao had brought back to Japan from China an esoteric mantra of the Bodhisattva Akasagarbha, the Kokuzo Gumongjiho, Shu Kong Zhang Chu Wen Kai, Akasagarbha Memory Retention Practice, that had been translated from Sanskrit into Chinese by Subhakarasimha, Shan Wu Wei San Zhang Zenmui Sanzo. When Kakai was 22, he learned this mantra from Gonso and regularly would go into the forests of Shikoku to practice it for long periods of time. He persevered in this mantra practice for seven years and mastered it. According to tradition, this practice brought him siddhis of superhuman memory retention and learning ability. Kakai would later praise the power and efficacy of Kokuzo Gumongjiho practice, crediting it with enabling him to remember all of Huguo's teachings in only three months. Kakai's respect for Akasagarbha was so great that he regarded him as his Hanzan ben Zun for the rest of his life. It was also during this period of intense mantra practice that Kakai dreamt of a man telling him to seek out the Mahavarokana Tantra for the doctrine that he sought. The Mahavarokana Tantra had only recently been made available in Japan. He was able to obtain a copy in Chinese but large portions were in Sanskrit in the Siddham script, which he did not know, and even the Chinese portions were too arcane for him to understand. He believed that this teaching was a door to the truth he sought, but he was unable to fully comprehend it and no one in Japan could help him. Thus, Kakai resolved to travel to China to spend the time necessary to fully understand the Mahavarokana Tantra. When Kakai reached China and first met Huiguo on the fifth month of 805, Huiguo was age 60 and on the verge of death from a long spate of illness. Huiguo exclaimed to Kakai in Chinese, in paraphrase, At last, you have come. I have been waiting for you. Quickly, prepare yourself for initiation into the mandalas." Huiguo had foreseen that esoteric Buddhism would not survive in India and China in the near future and that it was Kakai's destiny to see it continue in Japan. In the short space of three months, Huiguo initiated and taught Kakai everything he knew on the doctrines and practices of the mandala of the two realms as well as mastery of Sanskrit and presumably to be able to communicate with Master Huiguo Chinese. Huiguo declared Kakai to be his final disciple and proclaimed him a Dharma successor, giving the lineage name Henjo Kongo, traditional Chinese, Bian Zhao Jin Gang Pinyin, Bian Zhao Jin Gang, all illuminating Vajra. In the twelfth month of the same year, Huiguo died and was buried next to his master, Amogavajra. More than one thousand of his disciples gathered for his funeral. The honor of writing his funerary inscription on their behalf was given to Kakai. Kakai returned to Japan after Huiguo's death. If he had not, esoteric Buddhism might not have survived. Thirty-five years after Huiguo's death in the year 840, Emperor Wuzong of Tang assumed the throne. 
an avid Taoist, Wuzong despised Buddhism and considered the Sangha useless tax evaders. In 845, he ordered the destruction of 4,600 vihara and 40,000 temples. Around 250,000 Buddhist monks and nuns had to give up their monastic lives. Wuzong stated that Buddhism was an alien religion and promoted Taoism zealously as the ethnic religion of the Han Chinese. Although Wuzong was soon assassinated by his own inner circle, the damage had been done. Chinese Buddhism, especially esoteric practices, never fully recovered from the persecution, and esoteric elements were infused into other Buddhist sects and traditions. After returning to Japan, Kakai collated and systematized all that he had learned from Huiguo into a cohesive doctrine of pure esoteric Buddhism that would become the basis for his school. Kakai did not establish his teachings as a separate school, it was Emperor Juna, who favored Kakai and esoteric Buddhism, who coined the term Shingen Shu Zhen Yan Zong Mantra School, in an imperial decree which officially declared Taji Dong Si in Kyoto an esoteric temple that would perform official rites for the state. Kakai actively took on disciples and offered transmission until his death in 835 at the age of 61. Kakai's first established monastery was in Mount Koya, Gao Yi Shan, which has since become the base and a place of spiritual retreat for Shingon practitioners. Shingon enjoyed immense popularity during the Heian period, Ping and Shi Dai, particularly among the nobility, and contributed greatly to the art and literature of the time, influencing other communities such as the Tendai Tian Tai Zong on Mount Hie, Bai Rui Shan. Shingon's emphasis on ritual found support in the Kyoto nobility, particularly the Fujiwara clan. Tang Yuan. This favor allotted Shingon several politically powerful temples in the capital, where rituals for the imperial family and nation were regularly performed. Many of these temples, Taji and Daigo Ji, Tihu Si in the south of Kyoto and Jingo Ji, Shane Hu Si and Nina Ji, Ren He Si in the northwest, became ritual centers establishing their own particular ritual lineages. Topic: <laughs> Lineage The Shingon lineage is an ancient transmission of esoteric Buddhist doctrine that began in India and then spread to China and Japan. Shingon is the name of this lineage in Japan, but there are also esoteric schools in China, Korea, Taiwan and Hong Kong that consider themselves part of this lineage as the originators of the esoteric teachings and universally recognize Kakai as their eighth patriarch. This is why sometimes the term, Orthodox Esoteric Buddhism, is used instead. Shingon or Orthodox Esoteric Buddhism maintains that the expounder of the doctrine was originally the universal Buddha Vairokana, but the first human to receive the doctrine was Nagarjuna in India. The tradition recognizes two groups of eight great patriarchs, one group of lineage holders and one group of great expounders of the doctrine. The eight great lineage patriarchs Fuo Haso Fu Fa Ba Zu Vairokana Dainichi Niorai Da Ri Ru Lai Varasattva Kongo Sata Jin Gang Sa Duo Nagarjuna Ryuju Bosatsu Long Shu Pu Sa received the Mahavarokana Tantra from Varasattva inside an iron stupa in southern India Nagabodhi Ryuchi Bosatsu Long Ji Pu Sa Varabodhi Kongo Chi Sanzo Jin Gang Ji San Zang Amogavajra Fuku Kongo Sanzo Bu Kong Jin Gang San Zang Huiguo Keka Ajari Wei Guo Aduli Kakai Kobo Daishi Hong Fa Da Shi The Eight Great Doctrine Expounding Patriarchs Tenji Haso Yun Kai Ba Zhu Nagarjuna Ryuju Bosatsu Long Shu Pu Sa Nagabodhi Ryuchi Bosatsu Long Ji Pu Sa Varabodhi Kongochi Sanzo Jin Gang Ji San Zang Amogavajra Fuku Kongo Sanzo Bu Kong Jin Gang San Zang Subhakarasimha Zenmui Sanzo Shan Wu Wei San Zang Yi Xing Ichigyo Zenji Yi Xing Chan Shi Huiguo Keika Ajari Wei Guo Aduli Kakai Kobo Daishi Hong Fa Da Shi Topic Schism Like the Tendai school, which branched into the Jodo Shu Jingtu Zong and Nichiren Buddhism, Ri Lian Shi Zu Zong Pai Nichiren Ke Shou Shua during the Kamakura period, Shingon divided into two major schools, the old school, Kogi Shingon, Gu Yi Zhen Yan Zong Ancient Shingon School, and the new school, Shingi Shingon, Shin Yi Zhen Yan Zong Reformed Shingon School. 
This division primarily arose out of a political dispute between Kakuban, Jue Zong known posthumously as Kogyo Daishi, Xing Zhao Da Shi and his faction of priests centered at the Dinbo in Yun Fa Yuan and the leadership at Kongobuji, Jin Gang Feng Si the head of Mount Koya and the authority in teaching esoteric practices in general. Kakuban, who was originally ordained at Ninaji Ren -hei -si in Kyoto, studied at several temple centers including the Tendai complex at Anjoji Yuan -si before going to Mount Koya. Through his connections he managed to gain the favor of high-ranking nobles in Kyoto, which helped him to be appointed abbot of Mount Koya. The leadership at Kongobuji, however, opposed the appointment on the premise that Kakuban had not originally been ordained on Mount Koya. After several conflicts, Kakuban and his faction of priests left the mountain for Mount Negoro to the northwest, where they constructed a new temple complex now known as Negoroji. After the death of Kakuban in 1143, the Negoro faction returned to Mount Koya. However, in 1288, the conflict between Kongo Buji and the Dinbo Inn came to a head once again. Led by Ryu, the Dinbo in priests once again left Mount Koya, this time establishing their headquarters on Mount Negoro. This exodus marked the beginning of the Shingi Shingen school at Mount Negoro, which was the center of Shingi Shingen until it was sacked by Daimyo Tayotomi Hideyoshi in 1585. Doctrines <inaudible> 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 The teachings of Shingon are based on early Buddhist tantras, the Mahavarokana Sutra, Dari Jing Dainichi Kyo, the Varasekara Sutra, Jin Gang Ding Jing Kongocho Kyo, the Adyardazadika Prajnaparamita Sutra, Li Ku Jing Rishu Kyo, and the Susitakara Sutra, Sushi De Jing Soshitsuji Kyo. These are the four principal texts of esoteric Buddhism and are all tantras, not sutras, despite their names. The mystical Vairokana and Varasekara tantras are expressed in the two main mandalas of Shingon, the mandala of the two realms, the womb realm SKT. Garbadatu, Japanese Tai Zang Jia Man Tu Luo Taizakai mandala and the diamond realm SKT. Varadatu, Japanese Jin Gang Jia Man Tu Luo Kongakai mandala. These two mandalas are considered to be a compact expression of the entirety of the Dharma, and form the root of Buddhism. In Shingon temples, these two mandalas are always mounted one on each side of the central altar. The Susitakara Sutra is largely a compendium of rituals. Tantric Buddhism is concerned with the rituals and meditative practices that lead to enlightenment. According to Shingon doctrine, enlightenment is not a distant, foreign reality that can take eons to approach but a real possibility within this very life, based on the spiritual potential of every living being, known generally as Buddha nature. If cultivated, this luminous nature manifests as innate wisdom. With the help of a genuine teacher and through proper training of the body, speech, and mind, i.e., the three mysteries, san mi san mitsu, we can reclaim and liberate this enlightened capacity for the benefit of ourselves and others. Kakai also systematize and categorize the teachings he inherited from Huiguo into ten bumis or stages of spiritual realization. He wrote at length on the difference between exoteric, mainstream Mahayana Buddhism and esoteric Tantric Buddhism. The differences between exoteric and esoteric can be summarized Esoteric teachings are preached by the Dharmakaya, Tha Shen Hashan Buddha, who Kakai identifies as Vairokana, Da Ri Ru Lai Dainichi Niorai. Exoteric teachings are preached by the Nirmanakaya, Ying Shen Ojin Buddha, which in our world and eon, is the historical Gautama Buddha, Shi Jia Mo Ni Shakamuni or one of the Samboakaya, Bao Shen Hojin Buddhas. Exoteric Buddhism holds that the ultimate state of Buddhahood is ineffable, and that nothing can be said of it. Esoteric Buddhism holds that while nothing can be said of it verbally, it is readily communicated via esoteric rituals which involve the use of mantras, mudras, and mandalas. Kakai held that exoteric doctrines were merely upaya, skillful means, teachings on the part of the Buddhas to help beings according to their capacity to understand the truth. The esoteric doctrines, in comparison, are the truth itself and are a direct communication of the inner experience of the Dharmakaya's enlightenment. When Gautama Buddha attained enlightenment in his earthly Nirmanakaya, he realized that the Dharmakaya is actually reality in its totality and that totality is Vairokana. 
Some exoteric schools in the late Nara and early Heian period Japan held or were portrayed by Shingon adherents as holding that attaining Buddhahood is possible but requires a huge amount of time three incalculable eons of practice to achieve, whereas esoteric Buddhism teaches that Buddhahood can be attained in this lifetime by anyone. Kakai held, along with the Chinese Huayan school Huayan Kegen, and the Tendai schools, that all phenomena could be expressed as letters in a world text. Mantra, mudra, and mandala are special because they constitute the language through which the dharmakaya i.e. reality itself communicates. Although portrayed through the use of anthropomorphic metaphors, Shingon does not see the dharmakaya Buddha as a god or creator as a separate entity. The dharmakaya is in fact a symbol for the true nature of reality and a representation of emptiness sunyata. It is important to note that, because of the interdependence between emptiness and form, Vairokana is also a representation of all collective phenomena, of the universe itself. <laughs> Relationship to Vajrayana When the teachings of Shingon Buddhism were brought to Japan, esoteric Buddhism was still in its early stages in India. At this time, the terms Vajrayana diamond vehicle, and Mantrayana mantra vehicle", were not used for esoteric Buddhist teachings. Instead, esoteric teachings were more typically referred to as Mantranaya, or the mantra system. Quote, According to Paul Williams, Mantranaya is the more appropriate term to describe the self perception of early esoteric Buddhism. The primary difference between Shingon and Tibetan Buddhism is that there is no inner tantra or Anuttarayoga tantra in Shingon. Shingon has what corresponds to the Kriya, Karya, and Yoga classes of tantras in Tibetan Buddhism. The Tibetan system of classifying tantras into four classes is not used in Shingon. Anuttarayoga tantras such as the Yamantaka Tantra, Hevajra Tantra, Mahamaya Tantra, Kakrasamvara Tantra, and the Kalachakra Tantra were developed at a later period of esoteric Buddhism and are not used in Shingon. Mahavarokana Tathagata In Shingon, Mahavarokana Tathagata is the universal or Adi Buddha that is the basis of all phenomena, present in each and all of them, and not existing independently or externally to them. The goal of Shingon is the realization that one's nature is identical with Mahavarokana, a goal that is achieved through initiation, meditation and esoteric ritual practices. This realization depends on receiving the secret doctrines of Shingon, transmitted orally to initiates by the school's masters. The three mysteries of body, speech, and mind participate simultaneously in the subsequent process of revealing one's nature, the body through devotional gestures mudra and the use of ritual instruments, speech through sacred formulas mantra, and mind through meditation. Shingon places emphasis on the thirteen Buddhas, Shi San Fo Jusanbutsu, a grouping of various Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, however this is purely for lay Buddhist practice and Shingon priests generally make devotions to more than just the thirteen Buddhas. Wisdom King Akala Gautama Buddha Manjusri Bodhisattva Manju Bosatsu Wen Shu Pu Sa Samantabhadra Bodhisattva Fugan Bosatsu Pu Xian Pu Sa Kasitagarbha Bodhisattva Jizo Bosatsu De Zhang Pu Sa Maitriya Bodhisattva Maroku Bosatsu Mi Le Pu Sa Bhaisajyaguru Buddha Yakushi Niorai Yao Shi Ru Lai Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva Kanan Bosatsu Guan Yin Pu Sa Mahasthamaprapta Bodhisattva Saishi Bosatsu Shi Ji Pu Sa Amitabha Buddha Amida Niyoraya Mi Tuo Ru Lai Aksobhya Buddha Ashuku Niyoraya Chu Ru Lai Mahavarokana Buddha Dainichi Niyorai Da Ri Ru Lai Akasagarbha Bodhisattva Kokuzo Bosatsu Shu Kong Zhang Pu Sa Mahavarokana is the universal principle which underlies all Buddhist teachings, according to Shingon Buddhism, so other Buddhist figures can be thought of as manifestations with certain roles and attributes. Each Buddhist figure is symbolized by its own Sanskrit seed letter. Topic: Practices and Features. 
One feature that Shingon shares in common with Tendai, the only other school with esoteric teachings in Japan, is the use of bija or seed syllables in Sanskrit written in the Siddham alphabet along with anthropomorphic and symbolic representations to express Buddhist deities in their mandalas. There are four types of mandalas. <laughs> 